Guys, this is our ferry to Santorini. We woke up at 5 a.m. this morning. This ferry is ginormous. It's like a cruise ship. There's water down there. I am struggling slightly. This big old truck on this boat. Bruh. So these are our seats. Wow. And they have a bunch of food over there. And tables are all over there. We're still parked. There's so many people here. Look at everyone. We have this place which Alex told me to go to. So I'm going to try it later when it's lunchtime. But right now it's literally 7.30 in the morning. It's right there. I think we're going to eat that for lunch. These are our burgers. This, one, this is mine and look apps very ginormous. Guys, this is mine. I got this golden one. Mm. It kind of tastes like um like the kebabs. I know. I know. I'm eating up. Now it's Santorini. So, this is our hotel. We have a nice bookshelf, a nice architecture to add to the room. We have a pull out bed. Next, we have TV, table. We have a diner with some ice. We have this very cute snack. Rich food and some ice. Always wanted to see one of these in real life. We have a little kitchen station, we have a coffee maker, sink, there's a little coat rack. What's a little nice? <laughs> Sussy. Okay. Next we have the two bathrooms, or just one bathroom. This is mm, the two bathrooms. This is the toilet. My sister is kindly vlogging. Toilet. And then this side is the shower. Very big. It's very stony in here. We have the master bedroom. This is super nice and open. TV. And then we go to this secret hidden door. Secret hidden door. It's not really secret or hidden. And guys, this is the best part of the hotel room. First we have a little vanity area getting ready. We have a little shower. Like rinse off. And if you're wondering why you need to rinse off, because there's a freaking pool in our hotel room. It's not a pool, it's a jacuzzi. It's a jacuzzi, very hot. Nice water. And then we have another toilet in there. And that's the hotel room. It's giving Stone Age X Mamma Mia. Now I think we're gonna get ready and look hot and take a picture. No, we're not. Tomorrow. That's it. Took some pics which were low key popping off. Um, and then we had dinner with the sunset. It was actually the restaurant by our hotel. But I got like a salmon risotto. It was alright. And then I ended the night by swimming in the hot tub outside and inside. And then this morning I had breakfast. I filmed the TikTok. So here's that. I didn't vlog today, but I vlogged tomorrow. And the croissants are so good. They're literally the best croissants you will ever have. I'm the one who had the scrambled eggs in the far left hand corner. And then there are a bunch of other options. And then that day we took a little like road trip around Santorini. And we just visited a bunch of famous locations and things like that. There's a donkey. And then we went to this archaeological dig site that my dad saw. It's actually massive in real life. I don't think you can really see how massive it is in this video, but it's like ginormous. Like the rocks are huge. And there is like this one hole in the ground and it goes so deep, like so deep. You can't even see the bottom. It's kind of scary. And then we visited the red sand beach, which is what I wanted to visit. So we had to like hike over the mountain, which was kind of rough. 
since I was wearing platform docks and it was also really hot um, but the rocks are red and the sand is red and then after we went to the black sand beach here's a mirror selfie before we went onto the beach it's not what I expected but the sand is black and then me and my sister did end up swimming in the ocean and that was pretty fun And then we had lunch at this little, cute little restaurant on the side of the road. It was so random. And this was the view. It was so pretty. It was like a port, a fishing port. We got a Greek salad. It was so good. This was definitely one of the best restaurants that we ate at in Santorini. We got a side of mussels. These mussels were so good. Like, 8 out of 10. Some fried squid, aka calamari. Also amazing. This restaurant was just so good. I, I'll insert the name if I remember. Me and my sister shared this pasta. Literally so good, I cannot express how good this restaurant was. And then after, we went up to Ia to watch the sunset. It was so busy. There were like so many people here. It was actually insane. And then my family happened to find a little restaurant where we could watch the sunset and we just ordered drinks because that's all they were serving at that time. And I got this pineapple drink. It was so good. And then later that night, me, my dad, and my mom went like around the area and were just walking around the streets a little more. And then I got a Greek frozen yogurt. This was so expensive. It was six euros for this box of yogurt, but it was like pretty good. And then I also got a Greek salad, again, it was delicious. And then my parents got in, got gyros from this place called Yogi. I, from, from what I remember, they said it was pretty good, so. And then the next morning, me and my dad went to the market. It was a pretty chill day. I got some fruit that I wanted to try. One of them was like a plum, like it's like an unripe plum, which was actually pretty good. And then I had gotten regular plum, regular plums, and there was like a bunch of cheese there. The tomatoes in Greece are so good. They like, they're different. And then I just read outside and ate my plums. And then for lunch, we went to this place called Momo. It was an Indian and Thai restaurant. And it was in the same area that we went to last night where, where I had gotten the frozen yogurt. And then my sister had gotten this chicken dish, I forgot what it was called, but it was like fried chicken. And it was really hot. But it was pretty good. And then I had gotten butter chicken, it was so good, this is literally so good. The My parents had shared this Thai chicken and it was kind of spicy. And then we walked around some more just window shopping. We didn't buy anything, I don't remember, but everything is kind of expensive. And we just walked around the streets some more. This place had really cute swimsuits, but they were so expensive. Like, luxury expensive. Anyways, and then me and my dad decided to do this little fish therapy thing where they eat your dead skin. And I wish someone had gotten a video of me putting my feet into the water because I was literally screaming and the whole store was looking at me. Um, but it doesn't hurt. It just tickles at first, and I was kind of freaked out because I don't like things eating my feet. But here are some free feet pics, so. And then we got ice cream after. I literally eat ice cream every single day of this trip. I had gotten this cheesecake flavor, which I thought was going to be good. But it wasn't that good. It was really sweet. But I did like the cheesecake chunks. And then... We ate dinner on the cliffside, and we watched the sunset, which was really nice. The food was pretty good. And then I ended the night by reading in the hot tub. And then the next morning, I actually remembered to vlog breakfast. So I had gotten two fried eggs. There's the view, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then there's some bacon and sausage. 
The staff here is literally so nice, and this was the last day in Santorini before heading to Mykonos. So that's the last vlog. Uh, next vlog will be Mykonos, so stay tuned for that.